Evercoat is proud to announce Rage Optex, a new full-featured premium body filler and putty that helps take the guesswork out of the application process. Once mixed with cream hardener, Optex changes color from pink to green, letting the body shop technician know that the repair is properly catalyzed and ready to sand. Green means go. Properly catalyzed body filler and putty means a better repair with less rework, saving body shops time and money. Plus, technicians don't need to watch the clock. They can see when the repair is ready to sand, giving them more flexibility to do other tasks while the repair dries. Optex is also formulated with Evercoat's exclusive Eco Resin, which spreads smoothly and self levels, virtually eliminates micro pinholes, can be applied directly to sanded OEM clear coat, and meets OEM corrosion standards. Optex also has superior adhesion to aluminum, galvanized steel, SMC, fiberglass, and silicon bronze welds. Optex, finished with 440 Express, helps body shops save up to 36% in time and up to 40% on materials on dent repairs. And repairs that are made with Optex and 440 Express are completed with fewer steps and result in a better quality finish for automotive paint. The following process will help explain how to repair a dent with Optex and prepare the surface for primer with 440 Express. Start with soap and water to remove waterborne contaminants that solvent cleaners will not remove, such as dirt, mud, tree sap, and road salt. Now use a solvent cleaner to remove grease, wax, and silicone. The presence of these contaminants can result in adhesion failure and feather edge lifting. Once the metal is straightened, use a dual action sander with 80 grit to remove only the base coat and clear coat from the repair area, while keeping as much of the factory primer and e-coat intact as possible. Proper paint removal technique will minimize excessive grinding and help preserve the factory corrosion protection. It is also important to keep the repair as small as possible. This will save time and materials while minimizing the paint blend area. The repair size can also be controlled by matching the proper sized tool to the repair. Remove only the clear coat and base coat while keeping the factory primer and e-coat intact. For large repairs, the recommendation is for a DA sander to be used with 80 to 180 grit in preparation for Optex. For small repairs, or when the clear is not fractured, use 180 grit to prepare the area. If the clear coat is fractured, sand until the defect is removed. If the clear coat is sanded through during this step, continue to remove the base coat. After the initial sanding is completed, Feather edge the perimeter of the repair with 180 grit on a DA sander for both large and small repairs. This will prepare the area for the application of Optex. To minimize the chance for pinholes and create a premium, long-lasting repair, leave a consistent 180 feather edge at the perimeter of the repair. Remove any remaining dust with clean compressed air or an alcohol wipe. Prior to dispensing Optex, mix the product to ensure an even consistency and dispense the required amount onto a non-porous mixing surface, such as a mixing board. The use of cardboard is not recommended. Optex mixes at a 50 to 1 ratio, or 2% by weight with standard Evercoat cream hardener. Use only Evercoat cream hardeners with Evercoat products. A visual reference for mixing a 2-inch puddle at the proper ratio would be to dispense a bead of hardener from the center to the edge, or a 1-inch bead. A 4-inch puddle of Optex requires a bead of cream hardener from edge to edge across the center, while an 8-inch puddle requires one full 8-inch bead of hardener from edge to edge, plus an additional 4-inch bead as shown. Avoid under or over catalyzing. When initially applying Optex to the repair area, Avoid applying too much material all at once. The recommended application method is to apply a thin coat to the repair with even, firm pressure. This will wet the surface and minimize the risk of pinholes. Then, build the area to the desired thickness. Because the area was feather edged with 180 grit, we can use Optex over the entire repair with one application. This will eliminate the need to apply a second product and a second step in the repair process. Slightly overbuild the repair area and then taper the edges of Optex just beyond the repair. This will make sanding the repair faster. The recommended final thickness should not exceed a quarter inch or six millimeters after sanding. 
the repair will gradually change colors from pink to a light shade of green, indicating the repair is dry and ready to sand. This will occur over a 16 to 20 minute period. If the repair doesn't change colors to a light shade of green within this time, it is undercatalyzed and should be redone to avoid any potential quality issues due to undercatalyzed body filler. For larger repairs, use a DA sander with 80 to 180 grit to help break open the surface and rough sand the area to contour. Avoid sanding into the paint with anything coarser than 180 grit. This will reduce the potential for sand scratch swelling and ensure a consistent feather edge. For smaller repairs, begin the initial sanding with 180 grit. Once the repair begins to reach the desired shape and contour, apply Evercoat Spray Dry Guide Coat number 721 and continue sanding. After the repair is sanded to shape, use the DA sander with 180 grit and use light pressure to remove any straight line scratches that may be left from hand sanding, paying particular attention to the surrounding clear coat. Remove the dust from the repair area with clean compressed air or an alcohol wipe. If straight line scratches are noticed in the repair or in the surrounding clear coat, re-sand the repair with 180 grit on a DA sander and remove the dust. After the dust is removed, take a moment and inspect the repair for obvious pinholes. If any pinholes are seen, apply a thin coat of Optex to the affected area with even firm pressure and allow 16 to 20 minutes for the recoated area to reach the proper dry to sand time. Then, lightly sand with 180 grit by hand or with a DA sander. If the area was hand sanded, be sure to follow up with the DA sander to avoid leaving any straight line scratches. After the area is sanded with 180 grit or finer with a DA sander, remove the dust with clean compressed air. To finish the repair, we recommend using 440 Express, a one-step primer pretreatment that can reduce primer usage by up to one-third. Once the dust is removed, the area is ready for the application of 440 Express. Be sure to shake the product before each use to avoid settling. Attach the foam applicator to the handle. Apply a small amount of product to the foam applicator. Wipe Evercoat's 440 Express over the entire repair area until the residue is removed and the micro pinholes are repaired. If too much is applied, simply continue wiping until the residue disappears, or use a dry part of the applicator pad and remove the excess product. When it is properly applied, the repair area will still be visible. Micro pinholes will be easy to identify and be fixed at the same time. Allow 15 minutes to dry. No sanding is needed. Primer can now be applied to the surface according to the paint manufacturer's recommendations. For more information on Optex or 440 Express, contact your local Evercoat distributor or visit Evercoat.com. Thank you for using Evercoat.